Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for 30 seconds of silence. This is Kobe. Ali of Sports News. And I'm Ken. I'm with your Grizzly News Network. Today is Tuesday, March 26, 2019. Hey, Grizzlies. The spring music will resume this Thursday through Saturday. Here's more information. Hey, Grizzlies. Have you heard that the Spring Valley Theater Department is coming out with its latest production, Into the Woods, the musical, this week and next? So we do mic checks, and right now, the prince is singing Agony. It is um, a musical based on a bunch of fairy tales put together into one story as a whole. There are stories such as Cinderella, Jack and the Beanstalk, and Little Red Riding Hood. To get the story going, there's a baker and a baker's wife, and the witch, a witch puts a spell on the baker and the baker's wife, and they need to get certain ingredients to have a child. They have to get these certain ingredients, hi, they have to get these certain ingredients, and there's um, a great meaning to the story. So I recommend you watch it. Please watch it. Thank so you. So our shows are March 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, and also the 28th through the 30th. All of them are 6 p.m. shows. However, on the Saturdays, we do have 2 p.m. matinees. Students, start preparing for this week's dress up days as we celebrate in a competition and pride during our Battle of the Grizzly Spirit Week. This is a fun filled competitive week and the end, it will end with our teacher versus student basketball game and the teacher halftime dance show. Be on the lookout and win fun prizes during lunchtime and during activities during the assemblies. Here's more information about the week. Students, please remember that CCSD and Spring Valley High School dress code applies to all the spirit dress up days. Do you want to see some amazing art? Do you wish you could view a beautiful photo or a vase on campus? Well, come join us for the second annual 2019 art show at Spring Valley High School. Spring Valley's art department has the best selection of sculptures, photography, drawing, and digital art for a one week exhibit. The art show will begin, will be held in that today till March 29th. Here's more information. Are you interested in checking out all of Spring Valley's best artwork? Then come join us for our second annual art show. Well, we're having an art show in the library on March 25th through March 29th. It's going to be our second annual art show here at Spring Valley High School. Um, it is the second year we've been able to really uh, show all of the talent here at Spring Valley. We're going to have art from photography, from ceramics, from drawing. Uh, there's going to be some digital art, um, so just the best art here produced, and we're really excited. We hope all of you can come out and see just the amazing talent that our students have produced this year. 
Teachers, make sure you sign up in the library to take your class to see the art show. And students, you can visit before school, after school, and during nutrition break. See you there. Teachers, you may schedule your schedule to take your classes to the library with Ms. Bechtel. And students, you may visit the display before school, during nutrition break, and after school. Hope to see you there. Attention all students going on our field trip to London, Dublin, and Wales. Don't forget there's a mandatory pre-departure meeting this Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. in room 200. All travelers and a parent and guardian are required to attend. Please don't forget that all payments are due by this meeting as well. A banker will be meeting will be available at the meeting starting at 5.30. See you Wednesday. It's almost travel time. Buenos dias, Sol students. We have a meeting with a guest speaker this Friday, March 29th at 1.20. We're also accepting t-shirt orders throughout this Friday. Please pay to the banker then bring your orders to the meeting. Hasta pronto. Grizzlies, have you bought your yearbook yet? Hey Grizzlies, yearbook students have been taking pictures of classes, at assemblies, and during sports. Carson Dooley, did you know we have a picture of you on page 50? Don't miss out on your chance to get the book for only $90. Order yours today at the banker or johnsons.com before the price goes up again. Now here's Ali with our sports news. Thank you, Kobe. Men's volleyball plays today against Desert Oasis at home. JV and B starts at 5 and varsity at 6. Congratulations to the girls 4x200 meter and the 4x100 meter team of Aja Mello Powell, Izzy I, Mackenzie Carcelli, China Charles, and Layla Canada for placing third on Friday's track meet invitational. The top three finishes put both teams in the top 10 in the state. Special congratulations to to Aja Mello Powell, who won second in her individual events of the 100 meter and 200 meter. Aja's time set her as top five sprinter in the state. Track and field is in need of students and helpers at the home meet this Thursday, March 28th and April 3rd. If you are in need of service hours or would like to volunteer, please see Coach P in room 801 by Wednesday to sign up. Helping at the meet is easy and can earn you four hours per meet. Thank you. March Madness continues this Friday as the teachers take on the students in the annual Teachers vs. Students basketball game. The following students have been selected to face off with the teachers. Student coach Ella Zanders. First quarter players Frank Bartley, Chelsea Kamara, Renee Whitfield, Layla Rise, Marco Lopez. Second player, quarter players Mariana Martinez, Jaja O, Sam A, Biniam G, Benny F. Third quarter players, Gio C, Isaiah Davis, Caitlin Rania, Michelle Fung, Carson Dooley. Fourth quarter players, Jaylani Blair, Missy V, Audrey P, Justin McGee, Regan Davis. During homecoming week, the students lost to the teachers in an epic game of kickball and are looking to redeem themselves with a win this Friday. Make sure you attend the assembly to cheer on your favorite team and to also watch the teacher dance take the court during halftime for another amazing performance. Now here's Kenna with some more news around campus. Thank you, Ali. The College of Southern Nevada will be on campus today. This will be an informational presentation. Please sign up on the College Career and Military Presentation Remind or, on, or stop by and see Ms. Dilley in the College and Career Center, room 402. Junior and senior students, questions about the military? The Army National Guard will be presenting today in the College and Career Center at 12.15 p.m. Stop by room 402 and let Ms. Dooley know. Attention seniors, need help with your, with your FAFSA? Come on Thursday, March 28th during lunch to room 315 and a financial aid will, expert will be available to answer all your FAFSA questions. Remember, the FAFSA is required for the Promise Scholarship, and if you hope to receive federal student aid for any college, see you Thursday during lunch. Now here's Ralph with the weather. Thank you, Kenna. Now it's going to be a pretty calm week and nothing really much is happening. For today, a high of 77 with a low of 52. North northeast winds at 5 miles per hour. The only real difference in the week is going to be Friday where it's going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 69. Temperatures dipping a little bit with a low of 47 and south winds at 14 miles per hour. But for tomorrow, partly cloudy skies yet again with a high of 75, low of 51 and northeast winds at 25 miles per hour. Now the sun is going to show up through the rest of the week and it's going to stay here, but some clouds here and there. Now looking at our valley, we're actually starting to see 
highs of 80 in some places. For us, although not that hot, high of 77 for Spring Valley, but for Enterprise and Paradise, high of 82. Blue Diamond, high of 74, with Red Rock being 73. Summerlin, along with Blue Diamond, is a high of 74. All the way up at North Las Vegas, high of 81, with Nellis being a high of 80. Henderson being a high of 83, and Boulder City being a high of 79. We're going to start to see the high of, low, of the low 80s either next week or the week after that for us, but for this week, it's going to stay at a nice, calm 77, and it's going to only increase from here as we already are in spring and summer is approaching while it's not a few months away. Now, it, just in case you're traveling to central United States, there's a thunderstorm warning for Friday to Friday evening in Oklahoma City, Kansas, and Dallas. Just in case you were traveling to that area, be sure to be safe and always look up your destination when you travel to see what it is. This is Ralph with your weather, and back to you, Kenna. Thank you, Ralph. This is Kenna, Ali, and Kobe of the Grizzly News Network. Have, Have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday, Tuesday Grizzlies. Grizzlies.